everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am once again filming on my floor. I think I found a configuration that makes it um, so that I'm not having to go around in the middle of the video. So today we're stuffing $685. So I'm going to get this money sorted out. All right, so I'm gonna stuff my wallet first. I don't have any money left over. I have this 10, but I need to bring that back and deposit that. So we have nothing on here. So for groceries, we're getting $50 or $40. So that's two twenties as always. For restaurants, we are getting $50. Right, I have so much hair on the floor. I'm so sorry. All right, so this always gets a 20, a 10, three fives, and five ones. And the reason I do it like this is if I need to use my card for whatever reason, I can just pop this to the front of my wallet and deposit that back into my account. Um, or if it's something uh, that is just like a dollar or so, I don't have to break a 20. So we have 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. So that is for restaurants. And then for fun or miscellaneous, we are getting $20. And that is it for my wallet. Um, I definitely overspent quite an amount, and, and that is even with me adding that 10 extra dollars to buy Takiyaki last week. Um, but I am just, I don't know, I haven't really been eating much at all, which is not healthy, but I, I don't know. Something about having to consume food is the worst to me for whatever reason right now. I don't know. It's, it's probably definitely something to do with something all right we're gonna be be doing my um bills expenses sinking funds debt tracking etc so this is rent and this is getting 365 so one two three hundred fifty sixty five so one, two, 365, and we're adding that to the rest of the rent. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six, fifty, seven hundred, seven ten, seven twenty. 725, 730, 731, which is exactly what we need. So I'm going to put this um, in an envelope and bring that to the front office after this, sometime this weekend. All right, Christmas is getting $5. So we're going to add that onto here. And we now have $10. For birthdays, we have um, $50, we are adding five. So that brings us to 20, 40, 45, 50, $55. Um, the next birthday is my fiance's birthday in February. So I am definitely going to get him something nice. Our anniversary is getting $5 as well. So this has now 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 
46 so $46 in anniversary and I might dip into this for Valentine's Day just because I didn't have one set aside for Valentine's Day and since our anniversary is like in the summer uh, late summer early fall that I don't really mind if um, what is it if I use that money because I will be able to make it back up pretty quickly so there is that my nose is so itchy right now um, Amazon Prime is getting two dollars let me move these you can actually see the ones now. Alright, so Amazon Prime is getting two dollars. So we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen dollars in Amazon Prime. Alright, so for wedding, we are also getting two dollars. Alright, so we have Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So we have thirteen dollars in wedding, and right now we just need enough to pay for the marriage license and stuff. So that's not too expensive. All right, student loans is getting ten dollars. So currently we have. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 110. So we have 110 in student loans, which is halfway towards, or almost halfway towards a, like a full payment. So, um, or like a full month, one month payment. So that's good. That's looking good. Um, hopefully we can get enough to whatever we actually have to start paying student loans. So we have a pretty big initial pay off so we can pay off I think one of my a complete one of my loans hopefully teaching expenses is getting ten dollars but we're gonna set that aside because I overspent on that and then hair appointment I skipped over that that is getting fifteen dollars and that is also getting put aside because I overspent on that I believe I have ten more dollars after this to put to pay back my last hair appointment for teaching expenses I now owe eighty dollars in business we are putting ten dollars so now we have twenty dollars in business technology we are adding twenty So currently we have 20, 40, 60 dollars at technology. I am saving up for a new computer. Hopefully I can get one. Uh, hopefully I can build this up soon um, because I want a new computer. I don't need one technically, but it would be nice um, to have one. All right, mom is getting fifty dollars. So I'm going to give my mom this cash whenever I see her next. And then Debt Snowball isn't getting anything because we didn't have anything left over. Emergency Fund is getting $5. So we currently have 20, 25, 30, 35, $36 in Emergency Fund. All right. Next is Bank of America. I don't believe this one's getting anything this week. Discover is not getting anything this week. But since it's the end of January and this is the last time I'm going to do a stuffing before the end of the month, I'm going to see how much I have paid off in Discover just this month. And then I'm going to add it to the credit card payments total. So I believe I started doing the credit card payments in late November so it's only reflecting since late November all right so in January we've paid off one 152 250 
Discover. So that's how much extra we paid. And I'll be doing the extra payment so that I do whatever I have, um, like with my January paycheck sometime next month after the minimum balance is due. So closer towards when I get, I don't know. I think it's, I think I'm going to do it closer to whenever I get paid next, just in case I do overspend too much money. So I'm just going to keep the money in my account until then. All right, so total since late November, since I believe November 20th, we have put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one thousand. One, two, three, four, five, six, six fifty seven, seven fifty eight, eight fifty, eight seventy, eight ninety, nine ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, fifty five, sixty, sixty five. Um, 67, 69, 71, 73, 75, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81. So I believe that's 1,981, but I'm going to pause this real quick and then double check. All right, so we have done $1,981. This is all prop money. Um, towards credit card debt since late November, which I think is pretty awesome. Um, considering that's not even completely three months. So, so there's that. I'm still trying to decide whose $1,000 bill I want to buy or purchase, or if I'm just going to use like note cards or something. So I don't know. And then overspend is getting this 25. So currently in here we have Oh, wait, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50 dollars. And then this is going to go back into my account whenever I remember to do that. And then this money is for, if I can get it out, my 52 week challenge. So last week I forgot to withdraw the money, so I just used prop money. So there's 45 in there, so I'm going to switch this out. Two forty-five, and then this week the amount that I drew was twenty-six. So we have this, and I am just going to sort this out. I'm not going to count it because I kind of want it not not for it to be a mystery, but I just want it to be something that I can like count once and have it be a lot. So. There's my 52 week challenge for this week and I'm going to store that right here. And I believe that is all for this week. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Um, I also have a question as to whether or not I should rename my channel. It's just VU, which are my initials. I changed it from my name, which is what it used to be because I don't want my students finding it. Um, but I don't know if I should change it to something else in terms of budgeting or something like that. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. Um, and yeah, that should be all and I'll see you guys next video. Bye.